Good morning, Lakewood. It's Tuesday, November 12th. And this is Cougar News in the Morning. I'm Blake. And I'm Phoebe. Would you all stand and follow us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag. flag. We hope you had a great three-day weekend and found time to thank a veteran for their service. Attention! Three lunch detentions will be given to those students who are not cleared to go off campus during lunches. You will be serving the detentions with Mr. Blair during your lunchtime. Also, the students who park in the guest parking will be receiving a $10 fine and there is no parking in the guest parking spaces. Now let's go to sports with Mason and Jared. Hey, it's Mason. Hey, it's Jared. And this is your Cougar Sports Update. Cougar football took on the Liberty Patriots in a winter to state game on Friday and came out with the W in a 14-10 victory. The Cougs will take on Squim Wolves this Friday in their first state playoff game since 2012, right here at Dick Cardinal Stadium. Game time is 7, and don't forget, ASB cards will not get you into the playoff game. Tickets are $5 for students and $7 for adults. There will be a meeting today for all those interested in girls basketball in room 1303 by the school store during both lunches. Stop in and find out everything you want to know about the team. also be a meeting in the Fab Lab for girls and boys wrestling. See Coach O'Hara for more information. Saturday at the State Cross Country Championship, Alex Jensen making his second consecutive trip to state improved his time on the state course by 41 seconds to finish in 62nd place out of 166 competitors. Gabe Hatch making his first trip to state finished in 77th place out of 166 competitors. On the girls side, three-time state competitor Callie Buchanan Finish off her career with a state best of 39th place, improving 48 seconds. Maddie Howe, also, had, also a three-time state competitor, placed 48th, moving 84 seconds on her state best. Alexa Daly, competing at state for the second time, finished in 64th and improved by 22 seconds. Senior J.D. Yargis, in her first state appearance, placed 70th out of 155 competitors. The coaches would like to thank more than 30 teammates and parents who made the trek to Pasco to cheer on the team. They would also like to thank Chad and Ryan Hudson and Coach Soward's wife, Tammy, for helping with the timing at State. Cross-country athletes, remember that awards night is Tuesday, November 19th at 6 p.m. in the theater. Please return your uniforms to Coach Soward's before then. The team would like to congratulate the Cougar football team on their victory Friday and wish them good luck this Friday. And that's it for sports. Go Cougs! Thank you, Mason and Jared. Tomorrow we have bingo going on at both lunches and the chance to sign up for the holiday talent show on December 18th. Speaking of bingo, we'll have bingo night Wednesday as well and there will be pizza. Game time is 6.30. One week from today during both lunches, we'll have one of the top female duos in the Pacific Northwest performing in a fundraiser for Noah. Bring your donations and your enthusiasm as Funeral Dove performs for Lakewood. Make it a day, Lakewood. Whether it's good, bad, or great, it's all up to you.